Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin Fowl, the editor-in-chief of Boating Magazine and author of Falvey's Guide to Fishing Long Island. And I'm here in my hometown, New York, New York. I'm with my daughters, Margaret and Kira, and we're aboard the Bayliner Trophy T24CC. These are some rough waters. It's where the Hudson meets the Atlantic Ocean. But that also makes it a very fecund estuary loaded with fish. It's a fluke. And today, to prove the merits of this boat, we're going to try to catch fish in front of some of the most iconic landmarks in the world. The Statue of Liberty, the Coney Island Amusements, the Freedom Tower, the Barrazano Bridge, and the Atlantic Ocean south of the city. So ride along as we prove the merits of this Bayliner Trophy T24CC. First stop this morning is the Statue of Liberty. We've idled the Trophy T24C to the edge of the deep shipping channel that borders Liberty Island. Liberty Island's rocky shores are now being flooded over by the incoming tide. This, coupled with the confluence of the current from the mighty Hudson, is setting up a perfect feeding scenario for striped bass and bluefish. Of course, it's August when we're here, and it's the middle of a heat wave. These are not ideal conditions. But we're going to try to scare some fish up, first by throwing topwater plugs, utilizing the casting platform and broad spaces of the aft cockpit of the T24CC. And additionally, we'll be using deep jigs in the depths of the channel, trying to get fish that are holding in those cool, colder depths. Let's see how we do. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Well, we didn't catch any fish at the Statue of Liberty this morning, but that's okay. It did prove that the T24CC would allow three anglers to fish with jigs or fish topwater and not get in each other's way. Now we're headed to the Narrows. This is where New York Harbor meets the ocean proper. It's the gateway to the sea. Staten Island is to the west, Brooklyn is to the east, and overhead is the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, which at one time was the world's longest suspension bridge. We're going to be fishing for fluke, as we say in New York, a.k.a. summer flounder. These fish should be holding in the 80-foot depths south of the bridge. Let's re-rig now and see if we can't catch ourselves a doormat. Coming. Comes on the fluke. Here we go. Bring it to the net. In we go. The fluke. Elsewhere, it's known as a summer flounder. Nice job, Kieran. <laughs> So here we are fishing the Coney Island Flats. And behind us, as you might guess, is Coney Island. That's the parachute jump. Back 100 years ago, immigrants coming to this country, that was the first landmark they would see. And of course, some famous rides. We have Steeplechase Pier, the parachute jump, Dino's Wonder Wheel. And back in the corner there is the Cyclone roller coaster. So these jetty tips are good because usually there's a scour hole around the tip of the jetties when the current's hitting the jetty and changing speed. So it'll often hold fish. So hopefully that holds true, that they hold fish for us today. It's a blitz. Breaking bluefish under breaking birds. We sped over in the T24CC and cashed in. There he is, hooked up. Okay. We're running along the beaches of the Rockaways and Jacob Reese Park in the borough of Queens, New York. Today, we're looking for schools of bunker, as we say in New York, AKA Menhaden, or Moss Bunker. Menhaden have been schooling in unprecedented numbers in recent years, and with them have been the predator fish, including cobia, bluefish, and striped bass. And that's what we're looking for today, taking advantage of the speed and efficiency of this Bayliner T24CC. The name of this game is Run and Gun and Look for the Fish. Having found a school of bunker, the girls went right to work. They're snagging bait and putting them in one of the two live wells aboard this boat. One's in the transom, it's at waist level, the other one is below the leaning post. So we've got plenty of live well capacity aboard this bay liner. It's easy to cast from the bow, and it's easy to move fore and aft, even in the ocean. 
So the idea with these live bunker is this. We're gonna take them off the snag hook. We're gonna put them on another rod with a circle hook and a weight. And we're gonna drift them near to the school. Now we're gonna use the maneuverability, the quiet operation, the quiet shifting of this mercury powered Bayliner T24CC to stay near the school by power drifting, shifting in and out of gear and staying with the school. So we've run the Bayliner T24CC offshore a bit. We're fishing one of the many artificial reefs that dot the waters south of New York City. This one happens to be comprised of defunct subway cars. How's that? We're looking for sea bass, we're looking for fluke, and we're on the drift. Now this Bayliner T24CC is a great boat to drift from. It's got thigh-high combing bolsters. There's a lot of space between the console and the side of the boat. There's plenty of room in the transom, plenty of room in the bow, and hopefully the fish will cooperate. That's how we do the shorties. Over the rail and in the pad. There she goes. I'm going to give it to you straight. We fished this boat all day long, 12 hours from the foot of the statue out to the Atlantic Ocean. We trolled, we casted, we jigged, we live baited, we caught sea bass, we caught fluke, we caught bluefish, we saw a pot of dolphins. I mean, the boat delivered on all counts. The Bayliner Trophy T24CC rode well in the rough harbor chop of New York Harbor and in the swell of the open Atlantic. It held all our gear. It allowed us to switch techniques, tactics, and tackle at will. The Bayliner T24CC did its job, and we're itching to go out again tomorrow. For Boating Magazine, I'm Kevin Falvey.